All right, so if you're having issues setting up an HP LaserJet 600 series of machines for a static IP address, we're gonna talk about how to do that real quick. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna press OK to start getting to the menu. And so you start seeing the menu options, I'm gonna press down. I'm gonna press the down key again, down key again, down key again, administration. When I get to there, I'm gonna go OK. It's gonna initialize here. So see it's reports, journal settings, print settings. I'm gonna press the down key again. So down, 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 down. Network settings. I'm gonna press OK. IO timeout, jet direct menu. I'm gonna press down to that jet direct menu and press OK. In here, information, I can print the information, but I don't want to at this point. I've already got it. Press the down button, that takes me to TCP IP. Press OK. Inside of here, make sure it's enabled. So I press OK to enable it. Shows it's enabled, so I'm going to press OK again. If it's not enabled, you want to select to enable it. All right, from here, I'm going to press the down button. Down, past host name to IPv4 7 settings. Press OK. Now it says config method. I'm going to press OK for that. Go in here, and I want to make sure it's manual, not DHCP or auto IP, so okay for that. Setting saved. Press down again. Press okay for manual settings, so okay right here, okay. Now I can press okay for IP address. I'm gonna type the IP address in here. Mine's already in here, but this is the one I want, so I'm typing on the type, the dial pad, I'm going one, zero, and then I need to press OK. That's counterintuitive, but pressing OK takes us to the next one. So here it's one, zero, zero. Again, pressing OK takes us to the next, All right? One, zero, zero. Got it there. Press OK. That takes us to the next. Six, two. Okay, and that's the address I want in there. You may want a different address. You may have a different class of network. I'm gonna then press down to go to the subnet mask and press okay. From here, I wanna put the subnet mask in. I'm gonna dial 255 and again, press okay. I'm gonna do the next one, 255, okay. Next one, 255, okay. Whatever your subnet mask is, you need to do it here and then zero. This is the most common subnet mask because people are only usually allowing one subnet. Press down for default gateway, then press OK again. And then here I need to put the default gateway for the network, which is press one, zero, press OK. Remember, keep pressing OK. Takes us to the 100, one, zero, zero. And we'll press OK again. One, zero, zero, OK. And one, that's our default gateway. Setting saved. And that is pretty much it, folks. I'm gonna go back out of here. And I'm gonna go into information, press up for information. I'm gonna press print SEC report for this one. Up, yes. And now it says settings were saved, but it's actually gonna print that report. And since I'm done here, I'm gonna press the home button. And I've set it up where it shows my IP address, so look at that, that's populated there. And then on this report, what you find is, is it tells you all kinds of information about your printer. And you can see right here, I've got that set up. So with that said, that's how you do LaserJet 600 series and the M600 series. It also works pretty closely to the 400 series, except for the 400 series doesn't have buttons here. So you'd have to do it with, when you get into the numbers, pressing the up and down. And so, this one's set up for 10, 100, 100, 4, 2. Let's see if I can make you see that. Boom. And it's set up DHCP, so it found it on the network. So anyways, that's how you do that. And uh, we'll have more of these kinds of tutorials on NerdCheek. Hope this has been helpful. And uh, have a great day.